though, just for the record, I don't spend a lot of time watching Fox News or the BS factory as CNN's Jim Acosta more colorfully dubbed them this weekend. Personally, I prefer my news and information to be grounded in reality rather than monetizing my amygdala to keep me on edge and buying my pillows in gold. However, according to Media Matters, The Root, Crooks and Liars and others who watch Fox News so you don't have to, at least three times in the last month, well, Tucker Carlson took time off from badgering strangers in parks and bouncy houses to demand that they show him their children's unmasked faces to refer to moi as the race lady. The race lady. Why would he call me that? I mean, I used to run track in high school, but I mean, honestly, I'm not that fast. So what else could it be? Hmm, what else could it be? Watch the race lady on MSNBC. Harvard educated, but totally oppressed and absurdly racist claims, says the race lady from Harvard. Joy Reid, the race lady over at MSNBC. Here's the race lady from MSNBC finally putting her Harvard degree to work. Oh, wait a second, Harvard educated race lady. Now you're really confusing us. Well, Joy Ann Reid, the race lady over on MSNBC, took a quick break from haranguing Whitey yesterday. Did he say Whitey? Oh, honey, honey, Tuckums. Is this really about me fixating on race or is it about you fixating on race? I mean, when you recently went off on me for continuing to mask up post-vaccine while jogging in crowded Central Park, you weirdly, as you did in that montage, threw in my attending Harvard. Now, I don't know, maybe I'm sensitive to this stuff, but it felt kind of like a dog whistle. I mean, did you want to go to Harvard? Did, did they reject you? And you think, oh yeah, they let the race lady in. Blah, affirmative action, blah. Well, listen, let me cheer you up, okay? I got into Harvard and okay, Yale, Vassar, and the University of Denver too, because I had a really high GPA and fantastic SAT scores. And that's how affirmative action works, love. Schools search for smart people from diverse backgrounds so that these schools won't be as dry as all the major sports leagues were before they desegregated. See? And just because, you know, maybe you didn't have great grades and great test scores and needed your girlfriend's daddy to help you get into college doesn't mean that you don't have amazing people in your life who love you. I mean, you got all that Swanson money, right? Fish sticks for everybody. Woo. And, you know, you had fun at Trinity after, you know, you got bought in, right? By the way, what was the Dan White Society? You know what? Moving on. And just because the CIA rejected your application, I mean, look, things turned out fine for you. You had a great career over here at MSNBC. Oh, oh actually, okay, that didn't work out. Well, look, you were great on CNN, though, until Jon Stewart kind of humiliated you. But it's fine. You're fine. Things are going great for you. And back to the whole race thing. Just saying, I'm not the one who spools out over my neighborhood changing like I'm some segregationist housewife from the 1950s. That would be you, Tuckums. And I'm not the one spouting a conspiracy theory that white people are going to be replaced by a Democratic Party conspiracy to import non-white people to outnumber them, a theory that was also mouthed by the Charlottesville Dickie Torch Nazis. That would also be you. And the reason I continue to mask up in crowded places is because I don't know how many people in those crowds that I'm jogging around didn't hear about the court case where your bosses said that your show isn't news. So they listen to you like you are the news. And I don't trust that people who listen to you, Tuckums, are taking precautions against COVID rather than freaking out about a piece of cloth and busting into the target to cough on all the cereal boxes like their 17th century colonizers touting measles bl blankets with them. People like you and your friends and the BS factory are keeping us steeped in COVID sickness and rage and paranoia. And the ways in which you, Lil Tucker, are making America worse are why I will continue to keep my mask on in a crowd. And we'll have more on your endless COVID hell, that the endless COVID hell that the Tuckers of our country, who, by the way, are the absolute worst, are helping to create.